In this video, I'm going to run through a simple worked example of how to find the rate constant for a zero order reaction. So I've plotted here a zero order reaction, and you can tell it's zero order because your concentration time graph is giving a perfect straight line. So the rate isn't changing. If you were to find the gradient of this graph, you're going to get a constant value, and that's how we can tell it's zero order. So the fundamental definition is that the derivative of the concentration of, say, our reactant A with respect to time is going to be minus K, where K is your rate constant. So from this, we can say that the slope of this line is going to be equal to minus K. And we can say that because our derivative is going to be constant the whole time. It's not going to be a changing derivative like it would be with higher order reactions. And we've got the perfect straight line, so the slope is simply going to be the gradient. And this simplifies things considerably. The slope is simply defined as your change in concentration divided by your change in time. And in practice, that means choose two points on the graph and then substitute that in and use your basic gradient formula. So we can choose two points. So we'll read across from, say, 0 0.8, read down to five seconds. Nice, easy point. Choose another point that's quite easy to read. So we'll say 0 0.6 and then read down to 10. Because this is a straight line, it doesn't actually matter which point you choose. You can choose any point and it will give the same answer. We can substitute this in and you have to make sure you do it the right way. So you remember that your gradient formula is on the top y2 minus y1. So you start with your second point, which is your 0 0.6, and then you subtract your first point, which is 0 0.8. And then you divide by 10 minus 5, making sure you're doing the second minus the first. And that gives you that expression there. If you evaluate that, you get minus 0 0.04. You've got to make sure you don't stop at this point, because if we go backwards, the slope is equal to minus k. So to get k, the rate constant, you have to multiply through by minus 1. And so you end up with your value of k, which will come out in terms of moles per liter per second because this is moles per liter, and we're dividing by seconds on the de denominator here. So that's why we get moles per liter per second. So I hope this example was helpful to you, and you see how easy it is to find the rate constant for a zero order reaction. If this video was helpful, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.